Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. <clears throat> so um, I just want to touch on this uh, article. Um, came across this from a video I saw uh, from Dabu777. Uh, speaking about how there was a uh, DOD Department of Defense direct uh, directive that was just uh, put out uh, 5240.01 uh, um, that basically gives the military authority or power to uh, delete, I um, mean, you know what I mean by that, to delete um, citizens in case of a um, civil war, all right, or in case of a, uh, you know, some type of uh, conflict between um, civilians and uh, local law enforcement. Okay, the uh, Department of Defense just basically uh, passed this directive that, um, you know, allows them to, allows the military to come in on behalf of the um, local law enforcement of whatever state, city, town, whatever, and, um, you know, delete <laughs> delete uh, civilians, right? Which, you know, this is all leading up to what, you know, through the spirit of, of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, what we have been warning about, right? That, that um, you know, Jacob's trouble, right? The, um, the uh, uh, civil unrest, civil war, and we can clearly see the signs you know, are are right there in our face, man. You know, if you are paying attention, right? If you, you know, uh, uh, have the eyes to see, you can see that this is what everything is leading up into, right? With with the whole political um, election coming up, right? The presidential election coming up, the whole you know fact that people don't trust the government, okay? And that's all you know in the scriptures. That's prophecy, right? Which we you know we'll touch and we'll get, but um. You know, for us that have the uh, truth, right, and, and us that believe the gospel, you know, and believe in, on the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, this is why, you know, uh, <laughs> we're going to need the Lord in these times, man, right? We're going to need divine intervention. We're going to need the Lord to uh, be our refuge, all right? And, and as the scripture says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and are safe. This is why. You know, starting with the apostles and others of Great Millstone, um, you know, and then brothers who teach the true gospel. This is why we always harp and always uh, drive the point of the name of the Lord, calling and believing on the name of the Lord. Because without that, <laughs> you know, you're going to be out here with no security, no aid, no refuge. So let's read this. It says, uh, DOD intelligence and intelligence related activities and defense intelligence component assistance to law enforcement agencies and other civil and other civil authorities. It says a video clip has resurfaced from May of 2019 in which Kamala Harris fantasizes about weaponizing the DOJ, which stands for the Department of Justice, against speech the government doesn't like and the platforms that allow it. Now you got the left trying to blame the right for you know uh, um, wanting to uh, use uh, federal um, power against the civil, uh, against citizens, right? Because you just had um, Kamala Harris a couple of days ago speak about how Trump wants to uh, basically use the military to attack citizens. But then on the other hand, you have the right blaming the left, saying that they want to weaponize the the federal government, you know, against speech, you know, censor us, trying to censor freedom of speech. Um, and, and try to take away, um, you know, civil liberties and civil rights, you know, from the from the uh, citizens if they don't basically agree with what the government is saying, right? So, this is like like I said, it's all political banter. But as the scripture says, you know, uh, this 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 beast has two horns like a lamb, but they speak as a dragon because no matter what, whether it's the the left, right, which is the so-called uh, Democrats, or whether, whether it's the right, the so-called Republicans, they're of the same beast, right? And ultimately, 
the uh the the uh, uh as it says it speaks as a dragon you know ultimately the powers that be are the ones that have the uh real control over you know what um way and what and what goes down here in america right as far as you know the um the push towards <clears throat> um taking away you know certain rights and and, and making people compliant and being in this totalitarian authoritarian society okay because that's ultimately the the uh the plan of the enterprise of the elites of this world okay so reading on it says in the meantime one month before a tense presidential election the u.s department of defense has authorized u.s military quote defense intelligence components to use quote, lethal force against American citizens if requested by state or local law enforcement in an emergency situation. Now, you had guys on the right <clears throat> that um, were and are, shall I say, uh, uh, governmental official, congressmen, senators, et cetera, you know, that say that, you know, this is, if they don't win this election, right, uh, speaking about the Republicans, uh, he's a he's afraid that they're going to it's going to take a civil war to get back into you know uh, um, get the get the Republicans back into office, right? And you know um, let's see if I can actually find that one where that guy said that you have like I said you have both sides blaming the other side for <laughs> saying the same things. Um, Congress thing is Senator says civil war. Let's see what pops up. There we go. Let's check this one out. We are in a fight for our kids and our grandkids, a fight that we can never imagine. I believe wholeheartedly Donald Trump and Butler County's J.D. Vance are the last chance to save our country politically. I'm afraid if we lose this one, it's going to take a civil war to save the country, and it will be saved. It's the greatest experiment in the history of mankind. And if we come down to a civil war, I'm glad we got people like uh, Schmidt and the Bikers for Trump on our side. See? So you had this guy said that, right? Ohio State Senator warns of civil war at J.D. Vance rally. Okay. So you already have that rhetoric out there, you know, and then you have these um, uh, quote unquote um, attempts at Donald Trump's life, right? That that <laughs> uh, I keep getting thwart, right? So that's already putting a mindset into his, um, you know, his his followers that you know we got to protect his life and you already seen what happened back in 2021 with the whole january 6th thing so that vibration is already out okay that vibration of fighting right physically in order to get your uh political party into office right and and, and to get back control of the government that vibration is already amongst these uh babylonians all right especially you know, uh, uh, these these Edomites that believe that, you know, <laughs> that their their country is at the brink of being completely destroyed. So they feel as though like they got to physically do something about that in order to save it. All right. Um, and then you have this whole thing with the migrant situation um, and, and, and these uh, illegal, you know, immigrants coming in into the country and they're seeing that as a problem and it's going to you know uh, uh be it's going to take a physical uprising in order to stop them so it, it, everything is is at, is at its tipping point right now okay so reading on it says um more on this in a minute but let me first get to the may 2019 video showing kamala harris unleashing her inner dictator speaking at the annual naacp fight for freedom fund dinner in detroit Harris threatened, <clears throat> quote, we will put the Department of Justice of the United States back in the business of justice. We will double the Civil Rights Division and direct law enforcement to counter this extremism. 
She went on to say that she would, quote, hold social media platforms accountable for the hate infiltrating their platforms because they have a responsibility to help fight against this threat to our democracy. If you don't police your platforms, we are going to hold you accountable. And that's, you know, a, another talking point, not only of these politicians, but also of these NGOs, right? Uh, the WEF talked about how the biggest threat <laughs> to democracy is mis and disinformation, right? You had, um, what's this guy named? John Kerry uh, say, uh, says, you know, basically, the, the, the First Amendment needs to be stopped. I, I, I mentioned this or I did a video on this a couple of days ago, but, you know, this came out earlier or at the end of last month. John Kerry calls for First Amendment, calls the First Amendment a major block to stopping disinformation. So you can see that these people that are officials that are in positions of authority, right, <laughs> that ultimately are the, um, the, the, the talking heads for the elites, right, for the ones, the rulers of the darkness of this world, they're telling you to your face that, yeah, your, your First Amendment, your Second Amendment, your uh, freedom of speech, all these things are problematic for them. And what they call disinformation, misinformation, they're saying that we need to stop disinformation and, and misinformation by any means, even if that means taking away your right to uh, speak, your, your freedom of speech, your freedom of expression, right? And now John Kerry is supposedly a, a Democrat, right? So she, you know, going back to what um, Kamala Harris said, so she says we need to hold social media platforms accountable, right, for the hate infiltrating their platforms. And remember, this gospel, this truth, this, this uh, uh, you know, teaching, and believing on Yahweh Bashim Al Washai, they have already labeled this in their um, the Southern Pro Property uh, Law Center, SPL SPLC. The um, what was that? The, the other one um, with them small hats. I forgot what I forgot what that one's called. But they already have this labeled as a belief that is extremist. Extremist, right? It's just an extremist belief. Okay, uh, or hate speech. So when they talk about infiltrating or getting hate speech off of social media, yeah, they may not mention this directly, right? They, they may mention all you know, the far right extremists on the, the white supremacists and the far left and all these other uh, people. But understand that this is <laughs> also a focal point and this is also something that they're going to come uh, uh, down against, okay? Remember that at the end of the day, what we're teaching is something that these elites are fearful of. They don't want this truth. They don't want Israel to wake up and remember themselves. Okay, because they know once we wake up and remember ourselves, our warfare is not carnal. Right? Actually, let me pull that. The what we're what we're speaking of is not something that we carnally are going to do um, to this place. As it says here in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, right? And that's why if you got these uh, militant Hebrew Israelite camps like ISUPK, like uh, uh, Sakari, you know, seeing them out there on the highways, you know, dressed in, you know, militant gear, uh, uh, um, got guns at camp. <laughs> I always, I say, you know, if they're doing that, it's either they're just completely idiots or they're they're getting paid to to, to show that kind of uh, visual. All right. They, they're, they're out there for filthy lucre's sake because they want this visual to be put out there. And that's why these guys, you know, are always on these platforms that big them up. Right. That that get them a large viewing. Because now when people see the Hebrew Israelites, they see militant style individuals. Right. They see people claiming to be Hebrew Israelites, but got machine guns and, and, and all these things. So it, it doesn't take a lot for the for, the, as they say, the court of the public opinion to be already swayed that, oh, yeah, these guys, 
that that say that they're Hebrew Israelites, they're also carnal. They they want to war after the flesh. But the true believers, right? The true men and women of Yahweh Bashim Shai, we do not war after the flesh. Verse four: For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. Right? The strongholds on what the minds of our people, waking them up from the delusion, right? From the deception that this devil has uh, uh, blinded them with. OK, in repenting and believing the gospel so that through calling upon the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in your faith and in your works, that you can be saved and escape these days because your gun, a gun is not going to profit anything in this time. Right. You uh, uh, having, you know, uh, ammunition, weapons, all these things, all of that is not going to profit you nothing. All right. That's why the scripture says, let not. The mighty man, let's pull it up. Um, Isaiah, Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 24. It says, start at 23. Thus saith Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Okay. So <laughs> you you you're not supposed to be glorying in the fact that oh, you can be, you know, you got the military, the 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 the, the militant look, you got the uh the, the the guns the weapons right to to defend yourself no that's not what you're glorifying it because your defense is once again supposed to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says let not the rich man glory in his riches because as the scripture says riches profiteth not in a day of wrath but righteousness delivereth from death. So you can't even glorify in the fact that you got money you may not be in a, a place you know, you can have a, a, a great security system. OK, you can have a, a, you can live secluded. Right. You can live in a nice area, nice town where the crime rate is low and you pay more money to do so. That's not going to save you either. Right. But it says, but let him that glorifieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me that I am Yahweh. Right. That is what you're supposed to boast in. That is what we're supposed to glorify. In, OK. Understanding and knowing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, seeking his will, seeking his face. Okay, trusting in him. As uh, Paul said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. It says, which exerciseth loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth, for in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Okay, that is what it's about. So going back to this article, it says, um, Watch and listen be below. Uh, so let's listen to what she And we'll put the Department of Justice of the United States back in the business of justice. We will double the Civil Rights Division and direct law enforcement to counter this extremism. We will hold social media platforms accountable for the hate infiltrating their platforms because they have a responsibility to help fight against this threat to our democracy. And if you profit off of hate, if you act as a megaphone for misinformation or cyber warfare, if you don't police your platforms, we are going to hold you accountable as a community. Okay. So, <laughs> it, they're, like I said, they're telegraphing their um their plans all right and this is why we also say that this truth is not going to always be accessible right it's not going to always be uh found on social media platforms it's not going to always be on youtube brothers not going to always be posting videos and going live because they ultimately are going to uh uh, uh pass laws do things to where it's <clears throat> we're going to be <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> Um, unable to upload. So that's why the scriptures talks about a famine, famine of hearing the word of the Lord. Because right now it's a, it's, it's a plethora, right? It's a plethora of hearing the word of the Lord. Every, every, I'll say no more than five minutes. And I'm just throwing a number out there, but you know, every five minutes, there's a new video out. Okay. Uh, uh, a brother's prophets are putting, are putting out all across the world. Day and night, as the scripture says. 
All right, and that's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai being put on the men of the Lord to push this word out in an, in an abundance. You got brothers that do videos three, four, five times a day. All right, starting with the of uh, the apostles. Okay, them being a great example of of constantly pushing his word out. Brothers all across the world doing this, but once again, that's ultimately the spirit of the Lord because just as just as he has a spirit on us to push this word out constantly, that's for a purpose because it's not always going to be uh, available this frequently to the point where it's not going to be available at all. Not only are they going to stop us from being able to put, uh, put out videos, but they're going to wipe, <laughs> they're going to cl uh, wipe clean all of our channels. Okay. And everybody that was, you know, thinking, taking this for granted, uh, thinking this was a joke or misusing the prophets. And that day you're going to want to hear the word of the Lord, as the scripture says. So um, let's read on. I'm going to skip this paragraph. It says, um, holding platforms accountable in every opinion or rant placed on their platform means arrests will be made. See, that's how they will hold them accountable. It's already happening in other formerly free countries. In the UK, thousands of British citizens were arrested, tried, and convicted within a 72-hour period for posting videos and uh, photos and videos on social media that challenged the government narrative about recent rioting in the country. And we've done videos on that. In France, the government arrested the owner of Telegram, a popular social media platform, because he refused to, quote, cooperate with government authorities seeking backdoor censorship avenues into his system. This is a wave, this is the wave of the future in its globe, in its global in scope. Top U.S. Democrats like Hillary Clinton, Anthony Blinken, and John Kerry have all recently ca uh, come out and said the First Amendment, right? And I just showed you that, John Kerry. First Amendment is in hindrance to establishing their globalist agenda, okay? Because ultimately, when you speak about this quote-unquote globalist, globalist agenda, it's the elites, right? The, the, the NGOs, right? The central bankers. OK, the ones you don't see. All right. Um, globalist agenda centered on sea change hysteria, fake elections and toxic won't say this for all. If you tell the truth about these issues, they call it disinformation and it says it should be banned. That's right. So that's why, you know, <laughs> now we can't even talk about, you know, uh, 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 Vanessa. Right. And. You know, that was something that you had certain Hebrew Israelite camps tell their congregants, tell their listeners to go ahead and take that. And now you're seeing uh, a great, you know, uh, uh, deletion suddenly of people all across the world, not knowing why. Right. But, you know, I'll digress from that. But once again, they calling it uh, this and misinformation. If they label it that, then they can automatically just take it down. And we've had multiple videos uh, be taken down. In the name of uh, you know, this right here, dis and misinformation, right? And and there's no way for you to, you know, they they tell you you can try to um repel um uh what do they call um appeal it, but you never win. <laughs> okay, so uh going back now, it says the US Department of Defense issued a federal directive on September 27th that allows US military troops to be used to assist state and local law enforcement upon request with actions up to and including, quote, lethal force. This is Directive 5240-01. Uh, period zero one. Read it for yourself. The timing of this directive is interesting. Why is it interesting? One month before an election that is widely expected to generate chaos and civil unrest. Now, before we go into there, right, because we were talking about the social media. Now, her being on the uh, being on the left, she's saying that they want to they want to basically police social media uh, platforms, right? And remember when Nikki Haley was running for presidency, she said this. Say. This is from Fox News over the weekend. When I get into office, the first thing we have to do: social media accounts 
social media companies, they have to show America their algorithms. Let us see why they're pushing what they're pushing. The second thing is every person on social media should be verified mm. by their name. That's first of all, it's a national security threat. When you do that, all of a sudden, people have to stand by what they say, and it gets rid of the Russian bots, the Iranian bots, and the Chinese bots. So they see it once again, but see what she's talking about, right? An explosion of anti-S, but now she's talking about uh, um, social media uh, having people, everybody identified, ID'd. And how are they going to have people ID'd? With digital IDs. Okay, I believe in this... Uh, in this um, <laughs> article, it talks about that. But let's finish up what she says. Bots. And then you're going to get some civility when people know their name is next to what they say. Accountability. And they know their pastor and their family member is going to see it. It's going to help our kids and it's going to help our country. Now, one thing I'll say, right, and I just speak as a man, you know, it's not as if nobody's ever going to be able to use the Internet again. They're just going to have it to where if you want to use the Internet, if you want to post things, you got to digitally ID yourself. Now, you know, I, I posed this question a couple months a couple months ago to brothers in the chat. I, uh, you know, I asked them like, yo, what if, uh, like who would basically give their, their actual governmental information, right? Because certain, you know, after, I know on YouTube, after a certain amount of um, posts or a certain amount of um, uh, uh, lives you go, they, YouTube will ask you, you know, if you want to do more posts or if you want to do more lives that you got to, you know, identify yourself. And you could do that by uploading a picture of your, you know, of yourself or uploading a governmental ID. And, you know, I was like, what if they just say, you know, uh, in order to upload anything or post anything, you got to, you know, upload a governmental ID or a picture like who would do that? And then, you know, brother said I wouldn't and none of us would because why the hell would we? give them our and even though they already know it right they already have have our governmental id you know they already know who we are but why would you willingly do that right so none of us will willingly give them our governmental you know our id and definitely not no biometric uh identification to become you know go on social media so that's a way that they will be able to say well you know you can use it still but this is what you got to do to use it just like how when they had the uh, the lockdowns and they told people, you know, you can still go to um, uh, uh, stadiums, you can still go to clubs and bars, but you gotta, you know, have this um, your 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 passport, right? The 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 M the Med passport. And in order to get that that uh, um, you know Med passport, you needed to take what. You needed to have something be put inside of you, <laughs> okay? You needed that. You needed that that dragon juice. So this is that was a a showing of how those steps that they took during the lockdown during the emic are going to be similarly to the same steps, but more you know push harder, and it's not going to be just for a temporary time. The same steps they're going to take when they push out this uh, um, digital you know, reform this digital reset that they're pushing out on the masses of the people. Okay. But going back. So I just wanted to touch on that about uh, the social media platforms, because you got people on the left and people on the right saying the same thing. All right. When it comes to identification and social media and, and what they want to do for that. But going back to this um, Department of, the, of Justice, given the military power, it says, um, yeah, so it says, the this directive of read it for yourself, so I can read that part. So this is the directive uh, states on page 13, defense intelligence components may provide personnel to assist a federal department, to assist a federal department, um, including, uh, so I can have a call. Uh, so I'm read this again, it says department, intelligent components may provide personnel to assist a federal department or agency, including a federal law enforcement agency or a state or local law enforcement agency when lives are in danger. In response to a request for such assistance in accordance with the following approval authorities, page 13 goes on 
to discuss various activities, including the use of lethal force, section, section C under uh, Secretary of Defense approval states, assistance in responding with uh, assets with potential for lethality or any situation in which it is reasonably foreseeable that providing the requested assistance may involve the use of force that is likely to result in lethal force, including deletion or serious bodily injury. It also includes all support to civilian law enforcement, so regular law enforcement officials in situations where confrontation between civilian law enforcement and civilian individuals, citizens, or groups is reasonably anticipated. Such use of force must be in accordance with DODD 5210 spot 56, potentially as further restricted based on the specifics of requested support. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it says the federal, I'm going to skip this. Actually, I'll read this. It says, no, nah, it says this directive is particularly concerning given the Department of Justice shift on focus in recent years from prosecuting foreign-based T's to going after what they consider domestic T's, i.e. patriotic, <laughs> conservative Christian Americans. And, hey, a lot of these, uh, uh, you know, Bible Belt uh, Edomites, right, and a lot of them could be Jake's as well, they're going to get caught up in this, man, because a lot of them are the ones that want to be, you know, uh, a gun ho for the country, and, and they, they'll lay their life down for uh, America. OK, because, you know, a lot of them, which I believe a lot of them are Edomites, um, they believe America is their heaven. This is their kingdom and they're willing to die for their kingdom. OK, but it's not just these people that they're that they are are willing. You know, they're trying to come at really. It's like I said, it's the it's the uh, it's the, the the ones who have this gospel, this truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. OK, it says the federal government has been colluding. With, the major, with major social media platforms for years, demanding that these platforms censor conservative content and then claiming that it is not a violation for the first uh, of the First Amendment because it is a private company doing the censoring. They've simply outsourced the censorship to the private sector. Um, it says the goal is to require a biometric digital ID, right, which you just heard Nikki Haley speak about, for all internet users at a ISP level. That means you won't be able to log onto the internet without submitting your digital ID credentials. Okay, and this is something that, this is how they could fight, right? Uh, mis and disinformation. This is how they could, as, as Nikki Haley said, have who, you know, whatever content you're posting up, have your name and your face tied to it, right? By using digital, and this digital identification is, is, is everywhere, right? It's in the uh, uh, airports, okay, uh, uh, you know, possibly, I'm not too sure, I haven't been in the subway in a while, but could be there, but it's everywhere. They're, they're, they're trying to, their goal, their enterprise is to use uh, biometrics, right, which is bi biology, measuring your biology, right? uh digitally so so that way you are you are identified okay and ultimately in order to do that it's going to take what technology and that technology is tied to the MOTB this is what uh John the Revelator saw and this is what we are warning about okay because none of this works without having something inside of you having something that having a biometric digital uh, um, tag, right, that can identify. So it says, um, which will include your records as an obedient serf who only says what, what's approved by the government or a, quote, troublemaker who thinks independently and critically, always questioning official narratives and sometimes exposing them. Everything you've ever posted online will be judged and scored for its level of obedience. No more anonymous commenting on articles, no more posting of articles that challenge the government narratives. All this will be monitored and fettered out by 
<laughs> AI. There you go. And and uh, uh, um, Klaus Schwab just said that we're entering into the uh, intelligence age, right? You've all know Harari spoke about how they are are going to have the technology that is going to be able to know you better than you know yourself. It's going to be able to know your what's happening in the inside of you. It's going to be able to know what you're thinking. See, this is their this is their uh, um, enterprise. This is their goal. This is what they desire because they want to be like the most high. All right. Um, so that's on that pretty much. And then I just literally just came across this right when I was getting this ready. But it says his country trained him to fight. Then he turned against it. More like him are doing the same. So you got guys like this. U.S. military trained him in explosives and battlefield tactics. Now the Iraq war veteran and enlisted National Guard member was calling to take up arms against the boom right there, officials in his own country. So, and you know, this is a very lengthy article. Um, if I can remember, I'll put it in the description on the comment section. But basically, they're saying that th this is happening a lot. And these people, right, guys like him, are basically saying that a, a civil war, civil unrest is coming, all right, because of them not trusting the government because of them seeing, you know, the 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 um, corruption that's in the government and how the government is basically uh, selling them out, <laughs> selling out the country, you know, to uh, migrants and to, you know, other countries, et cetera, et cetera. The whole globalist um, plan that the right believes, you know, the right, that's what the right calls it. Um, and people like him, right, are ready to literally fight the government fight police fight government officials you know to save their country that's why he says here it says uh standing in this north carolina woods chris author warned about a coming civil war videos he posted publicly on youtube bore titles such as quote the end of america or the next revolutionary war so i mean you got guys like him saying it and you also got senators right of ohio saying the same thing civil war is coming it says in telling and his telling the U.S. was failing, falling into chaos and there will be only one way to survive, delete or be deleted. OK, so. The writing is on a wall. OK, so let's get this one or two scriptures and we'll close it out. And this, like I said, this is all the spirit of the Lord is doing this. Isaiah 19, verse two. And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian and they shall fight everyone against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. So the Lord said, I will set, right? The Lord is in the midst of, of, of all of these things, right? He dealeth in the kingdoms of men. And we're at the time where he is, uh, uh, you know, judging Babylon the Great. He is judging these Babylonians, right? And he is, he is destroying this place. And as Yahweh Shah said here in the book of um, Mark chapter 3, Verse 23, Yahweh Shai called them over and responded with an illustration. How can Satan cast out Satan? He replied, a kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. See that? It didn't say might collapse. It will collapse. And this is the narrative. This is the time, you know, that, that we're in right now. We're seeing a civil war being brewed up. And you got guys like uh, Donald Trump is saying this is the most important election of all time. You know, of, of all of American history, you know, dangerous times that we're in, civil war. People, both sides are, are saying, are calling, you know, potentially for a civil war if either side wins, right? So this kingdom is divided. It's not a it's not a democracy anymore. It's 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 literally if we don't win, we're going to war. That's what this is. They don't trust the the, the governmental processes, the checks and balances that you know, quote, uh, are supposedly put in place. But as Yahweh Shai said, a civil, a kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. Okay. And then we got this here in second Ezra chapter 15, um, verse 14. It says the world and the people in it are doomed. The war that will bring the destruction is very near. Nations will arm themselves and fight against nations, which we're seeing. There will be great political turmoil, okay? Great political turmoil with 
with one group trying to overpower another and gain control while ignoring the legitimate government. And that's what they, you know, the, the, the Republicans already were saying about this current administration. It was it wasn't it's not a legitimate, which is once again why the whole January 6th thing happened. All right. Trump was saying that, you know, they, they rigged the election X, X, Y and Z. So imagine if they lost this one. Imagine if the Republicans lost this one. OK. They're going to completely ignore the uh, quote unquote legitimate government. And one group will be trying to overpower the other group by way of war, by way of uh, uh, physical force. And that's why you have that uh, directive, right, of the Department of, of Defense being put in place. Like how the article said, it's an interesting time that they put that in place. Why? Because they have that expectation and they ultimately want that. Remember, we always talk about order out of chaos. They want this chaos in, in, uh, to happen in order to bring a new order in. OK, and that new order is going to completely take away any type of, you know, uh, uh, freedoms from the people and put in them in a in a uh, position of being of an under complete subjection. Right. A.K.A. martial law. So it says um, there will be no longer be free access to cities because the struggle for power will bring destruction, terror and total confusion wherever people live. OK, so. You know, um, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to bring this out and touch on it, man. And, well, you know, we're definitely living in some interesting, serious times. And this is why Yahweh Shai said, you know, watch and pray always that you may be found worthy to escape these things and to stand in front of the Son of Man. All right. So repent, believe the gospel, because we are in a time like never before. And we're going to need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to be our rock, our defense right in our refuge in his time as it says in the book of daniel that what man, in that in that time michael the great prince will stand for the children of thy people let me pull that up i'll close it with that and at that time the ark michael the archangel who stands guard over your nation will arise and what time is this the time of the end then then there will be a time of anguish greater than any since nations first came into existence but at that time every one of your people Who's, who's your people, right? He's talking to Daniel, the Israelites. Every one of your people whose name is written in the book will be rescued. The book of life, that is the elect, right? And that's who and who we strive to be, given all diligence to make our calling and election short. So, you know, with that, Lord willing, I'm in it there. Um, hope this was edifying, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakat, Kadash. Shalom.